Hey, what's going on guys? Goose and DZ here at Newbie Drone, and today we're introducing something really awesome that we've been waiting a long time. How long has it been since we've been trying to... I've been waiting since Christmas. Christmas, yeah. A lot of people have been waiting for Christmas. Uh, any of you who came to CES or saw our CES post, you guys <laughs> saw an early preview of this. This, of course, is our Acrobee Light Ready to Fly Kit. I'm excited. You I'm excited. excited. It's, it's going to be cool. Okay, so here's the box that you're gonna get for the uh, first version we're sending out. It's gonna come in this kind of plain cardboard box, but then you'll see on the front. Show them the sticker. Yeah, you get this little newbie drone ready to fly kit right there. We kind of keep it subtle, keep it simple, you know, like it's not about the outside, it's about what's on the inside. You know, people say think outside the box, nah, think, think inside. inside the what's box. in the box? Yeah, all right, Chris, slice me open. The box. Oh, jeez. Whoa, no, no, you no, got no, I'm sorry. a little dangerous right there, all right. dude. All right, we're gonna you keep the knife pop open. that guy open. Is that, plastic? that is plastic. So you'll get a magical plastic wrap thing inside. And just Shh. Yeah, this. So we'll open this guy up and bam, look at this. This is gonna be the carrying case for the ready to fly kit. Nice. Look how nice that is, huh? It's if you don't like that case, I don't like you. You're not American. Or actually we have customers from all over the world, so maybe that was not Yeah. You're not nice. I don't know. But yeah. So yeah, it comes in this really nice textured. It's almost like a a fabric, like a carpet. I don't know, like look at it, that. It almost feels like a. Okay, look at that. Like what? It feels like denim. Did you say wenum? <laughs> Close. Denim. Denim. Right. It's very soft. Bit. Yeah. What you Is think? that normally what you do? You run, you rub denim on your face, typically to feel. I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. Anyway, so you've got the nice little newbie drone right there, and this little rubberized Ooh. logo. That's really cool. And of course, we have this really nice flexible rubberized handle. Some of these come in like hard plastic, yeah. but nah, this one is a like a soft, look at that caterpillar. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get him with the waves, huh? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, damn, I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, hold it like that. Really nice and easy to carry around. And then we've got a zipper. Here's it's a, a nice part. zipper. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys listen to this. Check this out. Oof. Flip this guy open and bam, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Right there, we've got the goggles, we've got the radio, and then up here we've got a little pouch to hold stuff. So, let's take a look at the accessories first. So in here, accessory wise, first thing we're gonna take out is the instruction manual. Open it. Okay, okay, you know. Now, I Kyle brought up a good point. When you see this, it doesn't mean you need to do this. This is if it unbinds or you buy another one because out of the box it'll be set up, it'll be bound, your modes are set up, all you gotta do is charge it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So totally, it's a ready to fly kit. Literally all you do, turn the stuff on, plug in a battery and fly. Pre-bound, even the FPV screen is already set to the correct channel so literally there is no setup. But we do have this manual to show you just how to case. do everything. So yeah. you know what's going on. So just some quick things I'll cover over the manual. It gives you your box contents, gives you kind of like pre-flight instructions, things to check out, you know, how to plug in and charge stuff, how to charge the Acrobi batteries, how to charge the goggle and the radio battery, uh, all the different radio functions like how to put it in binding, how to put it in flight simulator mode, turning it on and off, all the goggle screen functions, you know, how to change the channels, how to do the auto scanning and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, binding the radio and the Acrobi if you need to do it again, but like Chris said, it already comes pre-bound, so not even worry about that. And then all the warnings. Warning, do not choke on the Acrobi. And we'll do what we always do. We'll put videos up and stuff, so don't be scared. That is correct. Also, you're gonna get a micro USB for charging and also for using on your computer as a flight simulator. That's a nice quality. Look at that, that's pretty long. Here, hold that up. Let me see. see if we can get the max. It's almost as wide as the shot, but yeah. That's good. That's a good amount, okay? You're also gonna get a antenna for the goggles. This is a little screw-on SMA one with a little Bendy boy right here. Great googly moogly. <laughs> yeah, and then you get a set of extra, or extra set of four Venom Prop propellers right there. So in case the ones on your Acrobee break, or they fly off from a really hard crash or something like that, or you just take them off and forget where you left them, we yeah. got you, you know? Don't worry. Okay, let's look at that radio first. Wow, so many lucky. Look at that. Let me turn this bad boy on. I, I really like the switch. Yeah, that, that is a nice quality. Yeah, switch, so uh, the radio is made of lightweight plastic, plastic palomar, polymer. Polymer. Yeah, polymer. And this is very hard to convey over video, but the gimbals feel incredibly smooth. Thank like, you. there's a lot of low budget brand radios out there. I'm not going to say any names, but the gimbals uh, 
feel very chinzy and kind of cheap. A lot of dead zone. Yeah, a lot of them have ah, dead zone. A lot of dead zone. And that kind of makes sense if you have like a drone that does like completely like self leveling, like a like a DJI kind of thing. But when you're wanting to fly something where you want like air mode, and you want to do full manual and stuff, mm -hmm. dead zone's killer because like when you move the stick to the inside, there's no input, so it just like stops moving until for it a gets second. to the point, and then it's like what? yeah, <laughs> and it, and it oh, recorrects. So. Um, we went through like, I think three or four different types of gimbals until we found ones that we liked. And honestly, if you guys know anything about Hall Effects uh, gimbals, the uh, Hall Effects sensors, they're usually a lot smoother because there's no actual resistance. It's using a, a magnet to, to measure it. So these are like, I like to describe it as smooth as that because there's like almost no resistance on the gimbal. It's very it's smooth, super smooth, right? Yeah. Or maybe you could say smooth. smooth. Oh, nice. That was not even scripted. Right that. Let me see this radio, okay. So yeah, here's the front of the radio, right? We've got the two gimbals right here. We've got two trim buttons down here. They go up, down, side, side, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can also push them in as well, and that also does other functions. We'll get into that in a little bit. On the top of the radio, we've got two uh, multi-position switches. This one is a one and two position, and this one is a three position. And then we've got two uh, momentary button pushes right there. And on the bottom, you've got your micro USB port for charging and connecting to the flight simulator. Or the computer for using Ford a flight simulator. simulator. Yeah. Yep. So to turn it on, it's pretty basic. You just double push real quick, and then it turns on like that. And then you're like, but Jameson, how do you put it into, say, flight simulator mode? Simple. Hold this button down for a few seconds. Bam. LED light changes to blue, and then it's in flight simulator mode. Boom. You want to go back to flying regular stuff? What would hold you do? it down again. Bam. Back to regular mode. FR Sky. Simple as that. And um, it uses FR Sky. Yes, this is FR Sky compatible protocol built inside. Um, you know the the internal the antenna is internal, so you don't have to worry about like an external antenna coming on or screwing mm -hmm. something all like that. It works pretty well. The range is pretty decent for this. And then one of the things I really like about this is the uh, the ergonomics of this. This this feels when you put your hands around it like this, your your fingers naturally want to go into these little little spaces right here. And we did like. 30 different yeah. uh, versions of this using 3D <laughs> printing. Like we have a whole, but we've shown this on the live stream. We have just like a whole box of them. Uh, it's crazy, but this feels really good, really smooth. It's it's amazing for thumbers. It also works for pinchers, but in my opinion, I think this thumbers. is like, if you're used to like Xbox controllers or PlayStation controllers, this is gonna be something really easy for you to catch onto, especially for a lot of new pilots. Um, it's super lightweight. And uh, for the two position, we, we have that set up to be the arm and disarm. And then the three position switch is gonna be your mode. So it's gonna be angle mode, horizon mode, and air mode. And then uh, the two momentary buttons, we don't have them set up to do anything. Of course, you could change that yeah, in beta flight to do whatever you want. But also, what I like to personally use them for is when you're using a flight simulator, like me and Chris will be like oh. flying on DCL, and then when you crash, there's a button reset. you push to reset. And it's like that, instead of going on the keyboard and going click, you know, just real quick and bam, keep going. And then to turn it off, you just uh, hold down the red button. Boom. Bam, turns off like that. So simple as that. Uh, let's take a look at the goggles. So this is like the main enchilada right here. Like creme de la creme. Yeah. So uh, first of all, we'll take it out and you'll see the back strap. It's got the nice newbie drone mm. logo. So, oh, look at that. Paying attention to the small details right there. Such a okay. detail. This is a three point strap. So you're going to have one that goes on the left, on the right, and the, over the top of your head. And they're all adjustable. So you can actually take the Velcro off and adjust how tight it's going to be. So it fits all different head sizes. Because he has a big head. That Mine is true. isn't so big. Sorry. <laughs> on the front of the goggle, you can see we've got the Nubi Drone logo Ooh. right there. That looks nice, right? Mm. 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 Does it smell like Nubi Drone? smells like plastic newbie drone. <laughs> Good yeah. And then on the inside right there, you can see we've got the lens right there where you would look through for the goggles. And also, you can remove the screen. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ready to fly goggles, but how many of them have removable screens? Not a lot. Right, because usually they got this in there, the radio, and then the, the, the drone is stashed somewhere on the side. But, but where's the drone? <laughs> Relax, let me show you. I will show, I know you guys are excited. Chris is excited, so. All right, check this out. First of all, I'm going to undo this top strap right here. This top strap just kind of comes down, pull it out like that, so that way you can completely remove the screen. You don't have to, but for showing you guys, I'm going to take it all the way off. On the top here, we've got the buttons for the screen and then the SMA connector right there where you'd screw on the antenna. I'll just put it on right there for you guys to see. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tilt this off because it is magnetic. Pull it off like that. It's a satisfying magnetic click too. Oh yeah, yeah we'll get into it. that, okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this down right here because I don't want you guys to see that yet. But here is the screen. 
Very cool little screen. As you can see, it's got the uh, Newbie Drone logo right there. On the side, we've got this power switch. You switch it down to power it on. And then under that, we've got the micro USB for charging. And on the other side, we've got an AV out. So if you want to capture video, you still have the option. It doesn't have built-in DVR, but there's little modules on the market that you can plug in or have it go to a TV or a USB card on a computer and you can stream it live and show all your friends and stuff. That's cool. And then, like I said, on the top, you've got buttons, you've got channel, frequency, menu, uh, plus and minus for going through menus and stuff like that. So that's very cool. I will show you the inside of the screen once we get the drone out because I don't want to show you just static. That'll be boring. So. True. Can I get a little drum roll? Good enough. All right, the goggles. The moment we've all been waiting for, check this out, guys. Bam, bam, the Acrobee's inside the goggles. <laughs> Which Acrobee is that? This is the Acrobee Light. The B brand Light? With active braking. The only brushed drone on the market with active braking. I'm familiar with that one. Are you now? That's my favorite. And then what motors and props come with it? Because oh. I think that's my favorite too. Well, let's take it out and find out. So, take this guy out. Nice little fit. Look at this beauty. She's pretty. This is using our plaid motors with the Venom props to give you that ultimate freestyle power. And if you don't know, now you know. Take it out. It's my favorite. Yeah. How much do you like this setup? This, this is the only setup I fly. I literally fly That's... no other props, no other motors. This is only this is the only thing I fly. So if you've seen my DVR or if you see any of that, this is what I'm flying. Chris does some pretty fancy freestyle. I get fancy sometimes. Yeah. And uh, once we got the plaid motors with those props, the how 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 much easier is the power looping now? It's like so smooth. Like, <laughs> it's it's easier and it's smoother. Yeah. And it just it looks. Ugh. Yeah. I remember ugh. when we. We first got the light and we were experimenting with a bunch of different props and stuff and mm -hmm. with the gold motors. We do it and it's just like, uh, it's like, yeah, just, just like you gotta remember, you're like, okay, I'm gonna whoop the try. Yeah, remember, like you had to like timing. line it up perfect, but there's so much power with these, it's like you can like recover almost at any kind of mm -hmm. distance from the ground they're at. Yeah. Diving. So, yeah, let's get back into the goggles some more. So, yeah, so you've got a little tray right here where the Acrobee actually sits in here. And then right here, you've got your battery storage. This will hold up to 12 batteries. The actual kit will come with four 250 HV batteries just like this. They'll be tucked in there. And then for charging on the side, this is basically the guts of a nectar injector charger. All you do is plug in a micro USB right there. You can do it from the computer or from like a cell phone charger yep. or even a battery bank. And then you plug in your batteries right there and then you charge your batteries all right there. Boom. Super convenient. Everything right there. No extra stuff to lose or anything, you know, very small little form factor. But then you're thinking like, oh, how you right, like, how am I gonna how am I gonna look through there if this thing is blocked away? Ah, we thought of that too. Did we? Bam, the whole tray pops out. You take your screen, okay? Bear with me, bear with me. You guys wanna hear that satisfying magnetic oh, click? You can't, it's like hard to. Oh. oh, right there, that was the click, okay? So then it's magnetically held on and. And this is without the strap. Yeah. So you have the strap up top so it can't fall off regardless. Yeah, look but at that, that thing ain't coming off. We wanted to make sure Yeah, that I would not recommend Doing, doing it that, without the strap, do but I was just doing that to show you that we're using some nice quality magnets, not some little dinky baby ones. But anyway, and it does not take interfere that with the screen at all. Throw that on. Bam, we are in business, dude. Where's the radio? Give me the radio. I feel like Ray Charles right now. Could I be a Ray Charles pilot? Georgia, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. So that is pretty much how it's gonna work for your flying, and I'm gonna take this. You wanna try? Go ahead. Go no, ahead. cause, uh, cause what, I, I always rock a hat when I fly. Okay. I could have done that too. I didn't even have to take off my hat. You did not have to take off your what hat. What the? Oh, that's so Are you kidding me right now? That's it, bro. Come on, man. So for you billers, Bill, see what I did there? Uh, yeah, you can you can rock it without taking your hat off. That was that was nice. I mean, you know, it's just the little things. You know, I didn't think it'd be things. that easy. But yeah, let's take off the screen real quick and show you what it looks like from the screen. Oh, you still get a little the pop, little pop sound. So I'm gonna put this over here, and yeah, Chris, go ahead and uh, plug, plug in one of the batteries. In. Yeah, and the battery should come with a little voltage, although. And if, you, and if you don't know. Oh, look, look at, at these LEDs. Look at these blinky blinks. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on the screen. Here. Also, the screen will come with this uh, little plastic protector. So when you get it, you'll make sure to want to pull that off so you don't get any of the plastic in the way. Then you're going to see I'm some behind turn this the on. scenes. Bam, you get that Newbie Drone logo. Beep, boop, beep, boop. And look at that. It already comes set up on the it's a video channel. Maybe we could use that for dentistry. Mm, maybe. Yeah, but look at that. 
already set up on the screen. And watch this. I'm gonna show you. This has got some really uh, cool auto scanning stuff. So I'm gonna purposely change the wrong channel. What are you even doing, jump Goose? Frequency. Okay, so it's just completely on the wrong channel right now. Okay, and I'm gonna hold down the channel button for a few seconds. Which enables one, two, let auto go. Auto scan. Auto scan and. Bam, right there, locked onto the channel. So even if you're not familiar with frequencies and bands and all that stuff, you can just hold it down and it will automatically lock onto the channel. That's pretty neat. And like the screen's even got built-in OSD for the, so the screen see, function, yeah. so it'll show you the battery level of this actual FP3 screen and the RSSI of the video signal. And of course, charges via micro USB, so very convenient to charge and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off real quick. And then uh, these also, can you put the battery in the tray, my good sir? No, no, the uh, the tray of the uh, the acrobat. Oh. <laughs> These also come pre-bound to your radio, so there's literally no setup. So I'm gonna have Chris plug that in, turn it on. Plug it in. I'm gonna do this live. In. But we didn't test this. Have faith, my man. Have faith. Okay. Okay. Check this out. All right. So now I'm gonna power on the radio. Double click like that. Okay. Give it a second. Looks good. I'm gonna hit the arm switch. Can they see that in the view? Let's I don't know. put it oh, back okay. a little bit. Okay. And then. Oof. I believe you're in air mode right now. Air mode. Okay. Now we're in nice. level mode. That'll be a little easier for this course quarter fly. Damn. Boom. Right there. Look at that. Easy to fly. Free bound. Ooh. I gotta be careful. That's a lot of power for these uh these motors. Alright, I'm gonna come land right now. Oh, look at that nice little... A landing pad, did you see <laughs> it? included landing pad, guys. Free landing included. pad included. But yeah, so uh comes pre-bound, as you see. Very easy to fly. Works perfect. Um, yeah, what more is there to say? I guess I can kind of show you the molding on the inside of this a little oh, more. Oh, yeah. Because this is very nice. Small and details, again. Yeah. Small details. Go ahead and unplug that for me. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Did you hear the ding 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 I like That's the right. sounds. Oh, it. also, because uh, we're doing USB through here and here, these will be able to do future firmware updates when we yes. come out with new features or bug fixes or anything like that. And I think even, I've heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, so don't quote me, but you'll be able to customize the uh, little tone. Start to, yeah, like you want to hear the the uh, the horsey song? What's it called? I'm going to pull it up as we sit here. Yeah, yeah, you know, you maybe you'll be able to hear that so when you, you plug know. in. But anyway, I'm going to show you how this goes into the box because it's a very nice little fit. This guy just slides in here right into the compartment. Damn, look at that. All molded perfectly. Like, it couldn't be simpler. Now we're gonna pack the Acrobee back up so you guys can see just how simple it is. Goes in just like that. I'm gonna unscrew my little antenna. Pop that guy back. Oh, I love that sound. I, it's, and the, t the tactile. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that are really hard to show over video, the gimbals, the click, the feel, but a lot of this, when you get it in your hands, you're gonna see that oh. it, we, we, actually, we actually tried. We actually did multiple iterations and made it top quality. That's so, right. If you guys appreciate that. And look how that all fits in nicely, okay? Then you just pull oh, it back on. up. Hold on, man, you forgot the landing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I don't need that for what about a demonstration. The yeah. Damn, we don't need all clear. No, no, we need it. Here, let's there, put it back. Just, just put it playing, back. I need that. Put it back. Oh, look. Put that back, the manual. That. That's a handy little... See, that's how handy it is. Right? Look at that. I didn't even think. You I just, just... I, I didn't even look. But it's already packed up. One and done. Oh, it fell out. It fell out. Oh. <laughs> See, look at One that. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, guys, that is the ready-to-fly kit. This has been in the works for a very long, long time. Long time. Thousands and thousands of man-hours have gone into designing this and Literally. testing this. Oh, man. But, it is but here, it's here, and it is awesome, and I really hope it's gonna be able to bring a lot of new people into the hobby, because that smiles. is, yeah, that is the biggest hurdle right now is getting new people to become pilots. But hopefully, not for long. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.